Hello YouTubers and welcome to my video. Today I have a problem with the accelerator pedal on my 2011 E350 Mercedes. Recently the pedal, when depressed and released, began to whistle or, depending on your interpretation, squeak. Regardless, this noise is driving me nuts and must be addressed, so let's get after it. I started unbolting the pedal by first removing these two plastic 13mm nuts. Now you can remove these with a cordless screwdriver, but I would recommend retightening by hand as these are plastic. Newer vehicles don't use a physical linkage from the pedal to the engine anymore. Such is the case here. There is a drive-by-wire pedal sensor that sends a signal to the engine's computer to apply or decrease acceleration based on the position of the pedal. Shown here is that sensor and I'm going to unclip it using a small flat bladed screwdriver. Place a catch towel behind the sensor while pressing on this white locking clip lest you suffer the fate of having the locking clip fall into an unseen hole in the firewall as demonstrated here. Fortunately this connector has a secondary locking clip. Slide the screwdriver underneath it like this and press the clip backwards to disconnect. Admittedly, I don't know anything about this assembly, but since I do know this pedal is spring-loaded, I'm going to carefully remove these four corner hex screws while holding down the cover, lest any parts fly out at me. A small flat bladed eyeglass screwdriver is used to carefully pry around the edges and the cover is lifted straight off the underlying assembly with no twisting or turning. Notice what appears to be white lithium grease around the inner ring that I did not clean off nor clean it off the underlying arm. How this sensor functions is outside the scope of this video, but I'm certain the signal is sent by the degree the white arm turns inside the inner sensor ring. Now let's check all the friction points. I'm going to begin lubricating here at this connecting rod location, then all the way around the outer spring. Moving to the spring arm attachment point, then to the feet on both springs and the inner spring. Moving to this point under the pedal, and lastly where the white assembly pivots on the black case post. The connecting rod can be gently pulled outward exposing its receptacle. A couple of paper towels are used against overspray and leakage. The connecting rod receptacle is sprayed first. And the rod reinserted. Note how the rod runs through this slot in the case. I followed up by spraying all the other aforementioned friction points. reaching as far back as possible to get the rear spring without disassembly. The pedal is depressed several times to distribute the lubricant. The remaining liquid is dumped and excess spray is cleaned off all surfaces. Remember, this case will be sealed, save for the connection rod slot. So dust accumulation sticking to the lubricant should be limited. Once I washed my hands, I began the reassembly of the case and sensor. Take care with this part. Think about it. 
if this gets damaged, you're not going to be driving this vehicle to the repair shop. And my local big box parts store gets $147 for this pedal assembly. X screws were hand tightened in a crosshatch pattern. So far so good, no whistles or squeaks. One last pivot point I'm going to lube is the hinge from the bottom of the pedal to the case. It is sprayed and allowed to penetrate, then wiped dry. Snap the connector back onto the sensor. If my white connector lock wasn't lost forever inside the abyss of the firewall, I'd reinstall it now. As it is, I set the pedal assembly back onto its threaded post and reattach the plastic nuts. Obviously, you don't want your pedal coming loose during operation, so snug these nuts down, but don't use Gorilla Force and break the plastic. With the car outside, transmission in park, and with the parking brake applied, Test the pedal with the vehicle crank to be sure the sensor signal is operational before driving. With the vehicle turned off, the pedal whistles and squeaks are all gone. It has been one week since this video was shot and it's still as quiet as a church mouse, so I'm going to declare this project complete.